this year has felt super, super slow as far as auditions. So when I saw my audition tracker and I saw 67 auditions so far here this year, I was really surprised. I'm gonna do a full recap of what each audition was for, where I got it from, and which ones I booked because I only booked 7.5% of them, which I'm not surprised because of where these auditions came from and the type of auditions that they are. But before we do that, I wanna give you guys a quick update on something and an audition opportunity for you maybe. If you don't know, I'm a producer on a short film called Pizza Monster. We were doing a crowdfunding campaign for this short film and it officially is funded. We met our goal of $10,000. So we are casting actors that can speak English and Spanish, specifically Mexican Spanish. We are looking for a mom and a dad, 30s to 40s, and then a couple of kids that are eight to 11. This is a pay job and we will be releasing more information on the Pizza Monsters IG if you wanna check that out. If you wanna learn more about me and Javi, who is uh, the writer, creator, director of Pizza Monster and all of the other things we've worked on together, you can go to our IMDBs or you can also go to Bless Trust, his YouTube channel, where he posts all of the shorts that we've done. And while we were doing the crowdfunding campaign, we also did a monologue competition. The winner of the Revenge Pizza monologue competition is Teresita Brims. Here's a short clip of the monologue. So I looked around, now it's about to open it, but then, not a change of heart. Forget it. I'm not going out this way. I'm getting my own pizza on my own terms. So I went to my favorite spot and I got this. Revenge pizza. And that monologue was written by Javi. We are going to continue to do monologue competitions because Javi had a lot of fun. And of course, I always want to host opportunities for actors to practice. Okay, let's go back inside and I can show you my audition tracker. Also, are these not like the ugliest shoes you've ever seen, but they're so comfortable. Okay, so here's my audition tracker. I only booked 7.5% of my auditions so far. I've been tracking my auditions since 2017 or so, and I like to use uh, Google Sheets. It's just really easy to use. As far as the information that I choose to keep track of within my auditions, I really add to it and take off all of the time. There's things I don't use as much, like what headshot did I submit with, because a lot of these are from my agent and I don't know what they submitted with, but I definitely keep track of the date, where I got it from. If I know the casting director, I put that information down, um, how much the pay is going to be, if I got a call back, what type it was. And I do try to do an audition recap the first Saturday of the month, so I can share with you guys what I'm currently using to find auditions and if you didn't see my vlog from last week I have stopped self-submitting as much because I want to target more co-star roles and TV and film rather than um, smaller commercials that I can easily submit to myself. If you saw last week's vlog and you commented like there were so many sweet comments thank you so much. I'm so happy I made that video because I was feeling really down and um, I didn't elaborate a lot on a lot of the things I was just expressing like how unhappy I felt and I do feel so much better just because I got those words out and I went outside and made the video but um yeah like as far as the day job it just wasn't a good situation mentally but I am working towards having better opportunities in the future both in my day job and in my acting career but um anyway thank you so much if you commented something last week it really means a lot and um just thank you so here are all of the things I auditioned for this year, 67 auditions so far. Most of my auditions have come from casting networks and my agency in San Francisco, MDT, but I've also gotten um, some auditions through the Academy of Art earlier this year when I was doing a lot of student scenes. Um, it's basically student directors learning how to direct and then you're in their projects, as well as um, through uh, Aura Casting, which is an online casting company. Um, they're mostly based in California California, but I've also seen they've done jobs in Colorado so definitely check them out to see if that's something you can use the other ones have been through word of mouth like friends who recommended me or friends of friends who heard about me and wanted to have me audition but for the most part it's been 
my agency MDT. I've only booked five jobs out of the 67 jobs. And again, if you saw my vlog last week, you saw that I hadn't booked anything in months and months, but I totally forgot because this is a unique thing. I did actually book something at the end of June because I applied for a solo performance workshop with Crowded Fire and they accepted me. So that was a workshop, right? But then we created our own monologue, like a one man or one woman show. And they invited us to either perform live on a Zoom performance or film it and then send it in. And so I did get paid for that. I was able to perform my monologue, which you guys will see soon. And so I actually did book something. So that was my fifth job this year so far. So I booked the... <clears throat> out of the 67 32 of those have been voiceover auditions through my agency that is what is making me feel like there hasn't been that many auditions this year is because i've been doing a lot of voiceover and i haven't booked any voiceover in so long so definitely know that i need to take more classes if this is something that i actually want to continue to audition for and do and or tell my agency like look, I'm, I'm not booking anything. Like, should we just stop doing that until I get training? Um, should we only do specialty things like Spanish or somebody who really needs to sound like me? Cause a lot of the time when I'm auditioning for voiceover, they want me to sound like Rashida Jones. Like they always put Rashida Jones as the voice that they want to be like. Then I've auditioned for 20 commercials and I did book a commercial with Covered California. I actually did two commercials with them, which I'm just considering like one audition in this sheet and three jobs I got auditions for print which I almost never get auditioned for print print modeling like you know taking pictures for some kind of product I did not book any of them no surprise there because I think I've done like one print job ever in my life and I did one fit audition which was going to be for an athletics company I was really excited because fit modeling if you don't know it's basically you're like a live mannequin where you need to have perfect measurements for their standards. And then I did one audition for user-generated content and um, I've really just tried to stay away from that unless it's through my agency because usually, and I should make another video about this, but user-generated content is basically commercials that you'll see that it looks like somebody who made a review on their YouTube channel or their Instagram or whatever. They do not pay enough. A lot of the user-generated content jobs that I see are like a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or just like giving you free products which they're going to be making so much money off of that commercial that you help them film and act in because you have to film it yourself most of the time so it was for a real estate company that was going to pay well and it was going to be through my agency but ultimately i didn't end up getting it because they decided to instead of paying a couple of actors thousands of dollars they rather just get somebody full-time to be a social media person for them i auditioned for one co-star role which i was so excited because with my agents in san francisco we don't get that much theatrical work at least i don't see that much theatrical work so i was able to audition for one co-star role didn't get it, but the fact that I even auditioned for it, so excited. I auditioned for four industrials and four student projects. And that was it, 67 auditions. On the first Saturday of September, I'll tell you guys about all of my auditions for this month. So now for my check-in of what I did this week, I, if you didn't see vlogs in the past, I've said if you wanna be accountability buddies and um, check in with each other here in the comments and see what we've done this week to you know, make our acting careers better. I've started a actor routine where I memorize every day, I research agents, and now I've transitioned that also into researching the industry in general to learn more about it. And and um, I'm a reader for somebody else, like actor friends or on an app like Actor Trade or We Audition, and or I will work on scenes on my own. So this week I memorized five days, Monday through Friday. I memorized every day and you guys, my brain is like, yes. I also started reading a few books about memory, like specifically about memory philosophy and how our memory works and experiments that have been made. Anyways, I'm like very into memorizing right now. 
and I did agent research twice this week and I was a reader slash worked on scenes three times this week as well as did a self tape practice. I definitely did a lot um, this week with my actor routine. It's feeling really good. Another acting-ish related thing because I really want to get cast in something where I skate maybe a commercial, maybe a TV show or film. Um, I skated twice this week, but those were some good sessions. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable on my skates, which like about time, because I've had the skates for almost a year and a half, but it's just really exciting. What did you do this week? Let me know in the comments your actor check-in if you want to. At the end of every video, I feature another channel and I'm gonna feature Active Poet because he has a really, really fun song. You guys go check out his new song, Close Friends. It's just like catchy and fun. Go check it out.